Tech Fan Productions here, coming at you with another video on how to route the Wink Relay, as well as install the Google Play Store and get it to work. Here's some tips for you. You can pause this and play back. I'm gonna put this stuff all in the notes. Uh, the big thing here, you need to download this particular file that I've listed here. This is the Google Play Store application. This will install after we root the device. I'll go through everything step by step. I'll walk you through the ADB shell as well as all the other things. So let's get started. So you want to type sudo ADB connect, your IP address, colon 555, and then ADB shell. You will see then the Edison prompt. That's the relay device. And just type in CD SD card. And we're on to the next step. You're going to type in SU. That will give you root access. You might get prompted on the relay screen to allow permission. And then the next command to type after you see root at Edison is MKDIR space G A P P S. In the next step, you want to go back to your APK Pure. You want to type in with a capital K I N G with a capital R O O T. So King Root, capital K, capital R. Go ahead and search for that, and you'll see an application come up. It will say King Root again with a capital K and a capital R. You want to go ahead and you want to install that application. It won't take that long to install. After you install the application, then you're going to need to click Next to install the application. And you're going to want to let the application install. And after the application installs, you're going to click on Open. And then you're going, the application will open. And then you'll see where it says Root Off. You're going to want to swipe up, save protection, swipe up. You're going to click on Purify. It says Try It. Then you'll see it says checking the system. It should take uh, about 30 seconds or so. And then you will see another screen come up and it's going to say verifying root access. And then you'll see another screen come up and it's going to say root access is unavailable. So you're going to click try to root and it's going to root the device. Very simple stuff, very straightforward, very easy to use. It's a fairly quick application to root the device. Uh, a lot of people have had a lot of success with it, so I highly recommend it. It's required in order to really make the changes you need to load the Google Play Store in there. It's going to get to 100%. And then you do it, you'll see it's doing some checks and some risk checks, optimized now, which is fine. Just run some scans and does some different things for the application side for security wise. One thing you don't want to enable is the root safe defender because that will undo the little blue button on the bottom and undo the developer options because those are considered security risks. Also, you're going to want to go ahead and remove in the applications, you're going to want to force stop on an application called Purify and you're going to want to uh, uninstall it. So as you saw a second ago, you're going to hit the little white button on the bottom, you're going to let the device reboot, and then you're going to come up, you're going to select Total Launcher, you're going to see a Total Launcher desktop. Next step is to load the AirDroid application on your PC and also download the AirDroid application from the APK Pure, and you're going to want to copy over to the Wink Relay that zip file that you downloaded earlier on. And you're going to put that into the gapps directory. You're going to download a program called Easy Unrar also from the APK Pure and that will allow you to extract a file into the directory that we just spoke about. So after you unzip the file you'll see it's created at the top here. Those three files are folders beneath it and the two files, well the one file, is actually in that directory up top. You want to go into that directory, you're going to want to select the files and basically just cut and paste them into the gapps directory. Next step is to go back to the ADB Connect application that you'll be using either from your Linux, Linux desktop or from your Windows desktop. One note or a couple of notes uh, on the Windows desktop, you're going to download it to install it. On the Linux, you're going to do a get to uh, apt get to get the file for that. It's real easy. You can just Google it on the web and you can install it on your Linux box if you have one. Real easy, real simple. So after you reboot and you come back up into your Total Launcher desktop, you'll see now that you have the Google Play Store. One thing to note is that when you first time you click it, you'll need to log in with your uh, Google account. After you come into it, you'll see that uh, you have all the applications here for you to either download or to experiment with. Uh, I was able to download different ones such as Sirius XM. I was able to install that. I'll show that a little bit later. But before that, I was able to also click into movies, click into 
uh, a trailer. I was able to get trailers to play. I was able to also, and one note here is you hit the little blue button on the bottom to go back. That's your back key. Uh, you can also click that on the top too, but in case you want to get out, you also click the blue button. And if you click in music, for example, you can go in and I just selected to play the first thing I saw, which is The Greatest Showman. Clicked on that, slid all the way down, and then I was able to play uh, a quick sample through the speakers on the Wink Relay. You can also, which is a really cool thing, is you can go into the Bluetooth options and you can pair a Bluetooth speaker with the Wink Relay so you can output the sound through your speaker. For this demonstration, I just did it through a Wink Relay. I'll show a little bit later through a portable speaker that I had sitting a few feet away from the microphone. So here in the background you can hear the song playing from the Sirius. Can't play too long because copyright reasons. Another application I installed where I can have you hear some more audio is a police scanner. I installed police scanner 10 or X depending on how you want to call it these days. And after you install it, you're basically like any other application, you're going to open the application. If I open the application, I just selected basically top locations and I clicked on one. And you'll hear in the background basically the audio that was playing from it. And I just select different stations as I went along. So that was kind of about it. I mean, that was uh, what I did. Again, this is uh, playing off my Bluetooth speaker. You can connect any Bluetooth speaker. You just go into uh, the settings and go under Bluetooth, and then you compare any Bluetooth speaker that you want to the Wink Relay. That's kind of a great way to use it. I mean, you could use a speaker out of the Wink Relay, but if you want some decent quality, you can export it, or I should say output it to a... Bluetooth speaker. So again, thanks for watching. Thanks for taking the time. I really appreciate it. Uh, these videos take a lot of time to make. So if you could do me a big favor, give a thumbs up, subscribe. If you can also leave a comment. If you got any questions, any issues that you came across, I'll be more than happy. Again, I'm going to put all the comments in the comment field below. So that will have all the information step by step. So take a look at it. Thanks for watching.